Um, are we rolling? The universe you and I are living in is a far more novel and complicated place than the early universe was. So I see the cosmos, if you will, as a kind of novelty-producing engine, a kind of machine which produces complexity in all realms, physical, chemical, social, whatever, and then uses that achieved level of complexity as the platform for further complexity. Of, of being a human is to complexify reality even more, to hand on a more diverse, more complicated, more multifacet universe to our children. circumstance and our circumstance is all inspiring I mean we are about to take the step out of matter the planet is on a collision course with the most profound event it's possible to imagine the freeing of organic life from the chrysalis of matter for a billion years, there's been life on this planet, but never life that could step outside of matter. But this is obviously what's in the cards, and we are privileged to be central to that. What, what history is, is the 25,000 year transition zone. Before you enter the zone, you're an animal. After you leave the zone, you're a god. seem strange to someone, I ask them, can you imagine this planet in 500 years? Can you imagine this planet in a thousand years? No, no one can imagine that because processes are now in play which so totally rewrite the script that no one can imagine. This is what it's like when a species prepares to depart for the stars. You don't depart for the stars under calm and orderly conditions. It's a fire in a madhouse. And that's what we have, the fire in the madhouse at the end of time. This is what it's like when a species prepares to move on to the next dimension. The entire destiny of all life on the planet is tied up in this. We are not acting for ourselves or from ourselves. We are, we happen to be the point species on a transformation that will affect every living organism on this planet at its conclusion. 